I wanted to talk for a second about this gorgeous PLA filament I've been using. It's made by CC3D and it's called Copper Silk. It also comes in silver and gold, but this review is just for the silk copper. The shine on this material is unreal. I've had no problems at all printing with it. It's smooth as silk. Even though it's beautiful, it's not the best for all uses, and I'll cover that in a second. It was fairly cheap considering how nice it looks. $23 as of May 2020. Filament prices have come down a lot over the past year. So now it really does not cost much more than plain white or black. It came in a very heavy vacuum seal plastic bag. The filament itself weighed exactly one kilogram, plus the weight of the spool. There was no shortage. I got a full kilogram. It was wound extremely neatly on the spool. The printer I'm using is an Ender 3 Pro. My printing temperature for this copper silk is 205 degrees through a brass nozzle. Many reviewers say they need hotter temperatures to print this. Mine prints great at 205. I see no need to raise it. I usually use a speed of 60 millimeters per second when I want something to look nice. This vase was printed with a 0.16 layer height. I heat the bed to 65 and drop to 55 after the first layer. It adheres very well. I had no trouble whatever with slipping, extrusion, or clogs in many prints. Here is a 3D test cube printed at 0.16. The filament prints very smooth with no ghosting or other defects. I did find one negative thing about this filament. It's pretty brittle. It just won't work in a project that needs a lot of strength. For example, Here's some Flash Forge Red PLA. It's very tough. I'm trying pretty hard to break this. It has just enough flex to be tough and impact resistant. But sometimes brittle can be useful. This project printed with the Copper Silk PLA had supports that were buried way down in a hole. Just a quick, light twist broke them free. So it's not going to be the best for everything. But if you're looking for a beautiful filament to impress, this is it. There's a link below for the filament. Thanks for watching my video, and please hit the subscribe button.